guys, Blonde Metalhead here. Today we are jumping into more Sally Face gameplay. We are currently on Chapter 3, The Baloney Incident. If you are new here and you haven't watched the other Sally Face videos, go ahead and watch those first. Otherwise, you're going to be very confused. I can promise you that. Um, as a recap for everybody else, uh, last week we did have the unfortunate experience of finding out that Larry is dead. I am so upset. Why did they have to kill Larry? He's like my favorite character. Um, when his ghost appeared, I just, I grieved instantly. I just went into all the emotions. Um, basically, we don't know how Larry died. We just know that he died and it has to do with all of this mystery that's going on. Um, we also had the experience of witnessing Sal's therapist fall to his death while speaking to Larry in the treehouse. So there's that, guys. There's that. Um, Sal is having some weird episodes where he'll, like, go into, like, this white room to, take, uh, to talk to this mystery, like, apparition, basically. Um, it did leave some, like, scrambled text on the screen. Um, it can be decoded, guys. So with a little bit of help, I was able to find out it that it said, you must unbind yourself from this world, Sal. You are not like the others. You are unique. Uh, we were on a baloney mission last week because some of the kids were getting sick from the food um, in the cafeteria. Um, basically, the teachers are making baloney out of goat yummy, right? Um, but in addition to that, the teachers have some interesting hobbies because we broke into one of the desks and we found a goat head, a Bible, some herbs, a few other objects. But I feel this does take us back to the video game story where they were talking about Larry's dad, Megan's dad, the occult, a witch, a little girl, something about a key. So Hopefully more details soon. Uh, let's go ahead and get started, guys. The more we play, the more answers we will get. But I appreciate you guys watching today. All right, guys. So this is where we left off last week. We had just spoken to the little goat ghost. Um, and I guess we're just going to do some more exploring to see what's going on here. There is the tag that says 1047 on the goat, so I'm going to try to keep that in mind because I feel like it's going to come in handy. 1047. Oh. It's locked, and there's some weird mechanism on the doorknob. This is a bizarre lock, dude. I'm not sure if I can pick it, but I'll keep trying. You keep trying, dude. You just do your best, you know? Unlock the first bedroom. Let's check it out. There's someone in here. Oh, God. Hello? Uh, Mr. Packerton? Hello? I don't think he hears you. You're right. Looks like he's in some kind of veg vegetative state. Man, this is fucked. And definitely where that rancid smell is coming from, too. Yuck. Let's get a quick look around and then get out of here. Oh gosh, newspapers. All of these papers are talking about the death of Mr. Packerton. If he's dead, then who's laying in that bed? What I want to know is why the hell are there so many shit-filled diapers in here? Like seriously, like what the fuck? I know what you mean. This apartment is making me super nauseous. You don't think she uses the no, no, never mind. I don't even want to think about that. I don't think if the mystery ingredients... I think if the mystery ingredients was human shit, Todd would have seen some signs of that in the lab, right? 
I guess so. Well, honestly, I have no idea. Let's just hurry up in here. Mr. Packerton? Are you Mr. Packerton? Blink if you can hear me. Hello? Young child, please. Ghost of Mr. Packerton. Help me. How can you be... Are you dead? I am in between, suffering for what seems like an eternity. Oh, where to start? Did Miss Packerton do this to you? Well, we were in love once, or so I thought. Yes, this is her doing. Please, you must help me escape the endless agony. Oh, gosh. What's in the baloney? Baloney? I'm afraid I don't know much about that. This is my prison, my tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never leave this state. How can I help you? You must unplug this horrid machine. But isn't that... Wouldn't that... It will end my suffering. It will free me of this torment. But are you sure? Please, child, I beg of you. You must hurry before she returns. Pull the plug. It says dying wish. Of course I'm going to pull it. What have I done? I hope that was the right thing to do. You didn't have a choice, man. The poor guy was in so much pain. It's what he wanted. Yeah, I guess so. I just... Oh, shit. She's back. Quick, behind the dresser. If we don't make it out alive, I... I love you, dude. I love you too, man. You're the best friend I've ever had, you know? Same to you, little bud. Oh, gosh. <sighs> this bitch. Ash. Hey, sorry to ruin the moment, but what the hell is this place? Ashley, you scared the crap out of us. I can see that. Haha, <laughs> man, am I glad to see you, Ash. I thought we were done for. I thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad came home early, so I rode over here straight away. Sorry for giving you guys the scare. I... Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he... It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Damn. And please don't tell me this is what's going into the baloney. I hope not. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked into yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key ring under the dresser. One of the keys has to open the other bedroom. Let's check it out. Anything to get out of this room. We're in. Oh, boy. What in the... Oh, my God. Shit, man. Examine wall. This can't be good. Another damn combo lock. It's like some kind of slaughter factory in here.
Got it. Oh boy. <laughs> yep. Ash. We. We're in way over our heads here. We need to get help. There are no bones. What? There aren't any bones in here. It's all just meat. Dude, no. Come on. <laughs> Ash is right. We should get help. Don't you see? There is no one who can help us. Every time something happens here, it's covered up. The cult, Luke, Charlie, Miss Anderson. Who knows what else this place has hidden? We can't trust the cops and we can't tell our parents because they'll want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we've told them about. Then what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packerton's chopping people up and serving them to... Ugh. I don't think I'll ever look at baloney the same again. Well? Well what? You asked why I don't eat the baloney and I've told you why. Of all the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next. Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've said up until now anyway, and the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably going to cut it up to make me sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of the story, and we'll air it in its entirety without cuts, I promise you. I heard you mention Todd Morrison's name before we started. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything here. Yes, we shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still in the hospital? I'll tell you what. You finish the baloney story and I'll tell you about Todd. Before we left Miss Packerton's room, Ash noticed something else. Hey guys, come look at this. There's some kind of trash chute hiding behind that painting. That's weird. This building doesn't have trash chutes. It doesn't look like it goes outside. There's no light coming in. Be careful, Ash. I wonder where it leads. Oh my god. Ash! Ash, are you okay? Ash! Oh no, oh no, this can't be happening. Please let her be okay. We have to find out where this leads to. How are we? What are we? I'm gonna shimmy down, it's the only way. Dude, no, you're not thinking straight. What if you fall too? Or land on her? If she's still alive, that could kill her. Okay, yeah, you're right, let's think. Ooh. Another hidden message, I see. I know where it goes. What? How? Never mind. Just go get Todd and meet me in the basement. What's going on? Sal, what did you see? Is Ashley alright? Everything is going to be okay. Come help me with this. No one has used this apartment in a long time. It's in rough shape, but Addison can't afford the renovations it needs, just like the fifth floor. Is this what you saw in your vision, Sal? It doesn't work exactly like that. It's more like a feeling of heightened intuition. All right, you lead the way. Larry and I will offer support however we can. It's locked. Wait, one of those keys from Packard's? Packertons looked like the old apartment keys. Try that out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about those. Perfect. There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. Okay. 
Alright, so let's scan the place for monsters first, I guess. Nothing in the bathroom. Carpet. The carpet is torn up here. It looks like Guys, come check this out. Dude. There must be an undocumented sub-basement sub level. It's definitely not in any of the blueprints I've that I've seen. Perhaps a dirt cellar or something of the like. I had no idea this was here. The third key from Miss Packerton's fits the door. Ash must be down there. It's the only place the chute could lead to. Let's go. What? May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. Well, this looks bad. Incredible, the architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Centuries of blood and demon worship, this is freaky as hell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, which likely means the area is presently vacant and has been for a while. Let's hope that the malevolent history of this place remains in the past. Yeah, well, we need to get through the gate somehow. There appears to be an absence of any obvious mechanisms to move the large gate. They must be built into the walls. It's likely that the apartment, the apparatus for opening the gate is hidden. We better split up and search the room. An old leather-bound book with a symbol of a goat's head on the cover. The text is written in another language and the pages smell like rotten flesh. This book gives me an oddly strong sensation of deja vu. It's a bit strange that this place, a place like this has light bulbs. They must have been installed later on. Though this green bulb is particularly fascinating. I've never seen a bulb quite like it. How do you turn it on? That's another mystery. There are no visible switches. I've looked all around this area. Huh. I don't think I have anything to use to turn it on. Aha. Intriguing. These green lights seem to be part of a larger system. Once activated, their energy is transferred into the floor below. Additionally, they must be harnessing the same type of energy as the Super Gear Boy emits, since you are able to trigger them with it. What do you think that means? To be honest, I'm not totally sure. This technology isn't like anything I've dealt with before. However, it is likely that these things were used for something supernatural, perhaps even to summon the red-eyed demon. It's a good thing the cult isn't around anymore. The demon, too. After we find Ash, we should smash everything anyways, just in case. Actually, I'd like to study some of these things further. It may prove useful in some way. What's wrong with all these 
or what's with all these spikes? Like, dude, you can't even turn around without stabbing your toe. Still hurts like hell, too. Examine. An old leather-bound book. There's a symbol on the cover of a bird within a circle. The text is written in another language, so I can't read it. Blood is splattered on some of the pages, and the book is burned across the bottom edges. Touching this makes me feel lightheaded, as if it's producing a strange energy. just got bigger. Scope it out. Okay. Cool. Are you trying to give me a heart attack that scared the shit out of me sorry I got the gate open for a second but that switch won't stay down Todd can you come stand on this Larry and I can go find Ash while you make sure we don't get locked in sure I can do that ready no but Ash is in there somewhere so let's go be safe you two I don't want to lose anyone else down here Huh? Hmm. I think this weird hex thing from Miss Packerton's dust is some kind of a key. Score. Whoa. Holy shit balls. It's another book pedestal, but this one has nothing on it. Oh my gosh. Ash! Ash, are you okay? Ash! Is she... She's still breathing. Come on, help me get her up. Huh? She's awake. What? What's going on? Where... Where are we? Dude, you fell down that stupid trash chute. I thought we lost you for good. I'm so glad we found you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fuzzy and sore. No broken bones. Well... None of mine, at least. Huh, man, Ashley, you wouldn't believe what we went through to find you. It's all thanks to Sally. He had one of his vision thingies, and then he found this old cellar door in the basement, and then we went down these long, creepy stairs, and then we found this crazy-ass cult temple or some shit down here, and then there were all these puzzles and traps and mazes, and Todd! Todd is holding the front gate open for us. We should go back there. Wow. That is too much to take in. I can't believe all of this right now. Or, this right now below the apartments. Thanks for coming for me. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Does Mr. Addison know? So what are we going to do about all of this? Miss Packerton has killed a lot of people. And the baloney, ugh. We just can't ignore this. Definitely not. Judging by what you guys have told me about the inner rooms of the temple and about Miss Packerton's apartment, it could be possible that she's gotten herself wrapped up in the occult as well. 
Even if the congregation has long since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon this door just as we have. Or maybe she's the last remaining member trying to carry out whatever their plan plans were on her own. You don't think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. Man, we need to stop her, preferably like before that happens. I know going to the local police isn't an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least this time our parents can't deny what's happening. They'll help us once we show them what's below the building and what Packerton has been doing. Ash is right. We should get our parents involved this time. Maybe we should just kill her. What? Miss Packerton, maybe we should kill her. She's old, so she shouldn't so it shouldn't be that hard. Well, we can't just kill someone, Larry, then we'd be no better than her. Normally, I would be against harming others, but in this case, Larry might be right. Todd, Larry, seriously, you guys? Think about all of the strange, unexplainable occurrences that happen in Addison Apartments and in Knockville in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Miss Packerton is acting alone. She must be getting outside help. It would explain the police cover-ups of Charlie and the Holmes family murders. There's no telling how far the corruption reaches. God damn. I guess that makes sense. Sal, you were saying something similar earlier today, too. I don't know. Maybe this does fall on us to take care of? Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are about petty things like being popular and having nice hair. Not us, though. We just have to worry about saving the world, I guess. So what happened? We decided to sleep on it. It was nearly morning anyway, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher? What did you decide? Did you go to the police? Didn't have to. Turns out Packerton got into a car accident on the way home. That same night, she and the other driver were killed on impact. Wow, that's quite convenient. You can look it up for yourself if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day. Beloved Knockville, high teacher killed by drunk driver. Of course, you won't find anything about dead bodies in her apartment or how she was feeding the students human flesh. That was all covered up. I see. I don't care if you believe me. It's the truth. And you said you would air the full story. Don't worry, Sal. It will be aired in full. I always keep my word and I think the people will be very interested in what you have to say. Everyone is watching you now. You spoke with a great fondness about your friend Ashley. I understand that you two were very close. You even considered her one of your best friends, along with Larry Johnson and Todd Morrison. Is that true? Yes. Have you seen this? The Sally Face Killer trial today for mass murder, including entire family. Sources say that the prosecutor will call Ashley Campbell to testify against the Sally Face Killer. Campbell is a longtime friend of Sally Face, and they were said to be very close in their high school years. The Sally Face Killer in chains. Oh boy. What about Todd? You said you'd tell me about Todd. Oh right, of course. We shot a segment on Morrison yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened that night. He's still out of it, unresponsive, still not talking, so we couldn't have a conversation with him. We mostly spoke with his doctor. I'm sorry, Sal. Apparently, Morrison hasn't shown any signs of improvement. In fact, his condition has been getting worse. They say that the damage he suffered that night is irreversible. He doesn't know fantasy from reality, and all he wants to do is die. When he is denied the release of death, he becomes extremely violent. I, I need to help him. Somehow, I need to help him. 
Even the doctors and trained professionals haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose you'll be able to? Because I know the truth. I know what really happened. I know what's wrong with Todd. The hell happened to Todd? Todd's possessed! Achievement unlocked, full of baloney. I'm awake. I'm awake already. before he found me. I was broken before he found me, scattered and lost, and he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once. After being discovered by everyone else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me and we were in love. And everything was perfect. Until it all fell apart again, now there is only pain. What have we done to deserve such agony? They were determined to devour us all. Nothing could stop them. The burning lights of the gods have faded. Their watchful eyes turned to horrific screams and then everything was black. and I could see again. I was me again. Suddenly it forced my hand and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything as a prisoner in my own mind. I have done terrible things, unforgivable things. Who are you? I am Lord Beelzebub. Whoa, really? So you're like the devil or something? No, it's a nickname bestowed upon me by my own kin. Family can be rough, indeed. Can I get into that door? You've only just arrived. No, you may not pass through my doorway. You must first admire my art. Your art? Yes. In the dark. There are five. The fifth you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts, you must gaze upon three. Once you have done so, report back to me. All right, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Beelzebub. 
Lord builds above. Okay, bubs. So, hearing eyes, they are filled with regret and sorrow, their sins, they are in a lot of pain, trap and rot, they are heartbroken. Can I go through the door now? Once you go through the door, there is no going back. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya, bubs. Alright guys, that is it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave me a like or a comment. Um, but I hope everybody has a fantastic week and you guys take care. Bye.